let's see who we're starting to get with the program. But I can also tell that for a lot of you, this is your first time hanging out with us. And if it is, I'll cut you a little break for not knowing how this shit works. But right here, in this moment, this is a fucking Tetrarch show. Now in one of our shows, we don't just stand around with our arms crossed and our fucking hands in our pockets. We're here, in this building, to take all the bullshit, all the negativity in our lives, and to leave it outside in that cold ass street. But for us to do that, I need to see a whole lot more from you. So when we bring this one in, let's pick this energy level up by about 10, or 20, or a fucking hundred times. Can you do that?
And we always dreamed of putting together a band, touring around the country and around the world playing metal. So we started jamming together, started writing some songs. Along the way, we were fortunate enough to get these two badasses, Ryan and Ruben, to join this freak show. Now through these years, we've had to deal with some bullshit. We got shit from all the local bands back home in Atlanta, cause we would rather stay in and practice than go out and party with them. We've heard from some of the suits in this industry that we're not heavy enough or we're not catchy enough. We've been told no so many times that we're fucking numb to that shit. Fuck that shit! But over this past year, Thanks to people like you, Woo! folks all over this country, we've been able to break through some pretty amazing barriers. Woo! So this band has been featured in every major magazine we grew up reading. We've toured this country more times than I can fucking count. Yeah. And that song that we just played for you, with it we're able to crack the top 50 on the active rock charts as a fucking metal band. Now I'll tell you all this to let you know, if any of you want to be in a band, if you want to start a business, be a CEO, whatever the fuck you want to do, work hard every single day, keep all that negative noise outside, and if you can do that, you can do anything, I promise. Woo! So Buffalo, we're going to play you one of the oldest songs we ever wrote. We wrote this shit in Diamond's parents' basement in like 2011. It's a fucking fast one, so if you want to do a pit, now's the fucking time. Yo, Ruben, why don't you go ahead and wake these fuckers up?
tonight. Do you want a way to support? We got some merch set up over against that wall over there. We got some shirts, hats, CDs, all kinds of cool shit. Every little bit helps us stay out here on the road and continue doing what we love, which is being up here and performing for you fuckers. But even if you can't grab anything, that's 100% okay. Because after this show is over, we're all going to be hanging out over there. We want to meet and talk to every single one of you here, all right? Now we got to cut it a little short here tonight. It's an early curfew. So we only got time for one more for you. I know. So you guys need to make this shit fucking work, all right? So before we play this last one, I need you all to make some noise for yourselves for coming out here and hanging out with us on a cold ass Tuesday. New York, let me hear ya!
Say hey.